from Teddy. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Look, I have a show ready for you about Durbin, where he called U.S. troops Nazis in 05. He should be dismissed from uh, the Senate for what he has done. But I don't want to talk about that right now. I was told that my dog, Teddy, the mascot of the Savage Nation, has cancer. I learned that on uh, Friday at the end of the day, at the end of the show. And he's been sick for a while now, tearing at himself, itching, so we thought it was some kind of skin thing. Then we figured out it must be referred pain. And it turns out it was referred pain. So, well, they did the diagnosis on Friday, and they said it's testicular cancer. Well, I had the worst weekend of my life because uh, we've been waiting until just about now for the um, ultrasound to see if the cancer had spread into his abdomen because that would have been the last of this. But nevertheless, uh, I'm going to dedicate the first portion of this hour to Teddy by reading from Teddy and me because he is uh, the mascot of the Savage Nation on a broader scale and he is my best friend on a personal scale. He's the best friend they ever had. I've had dogs since I'm a little kid. But there's something about a dog when you're older that I don't know how to describe. I guess you don't really understand how fleeting life is when you're younger. You just think everything's going to live forever. And so um, I did get the news from the vet just a few minutes ago. And believe me, this was a, a squeaker. I didn't know until 10 minutes ago whether he was going to live or die. It looks like he's going to live. Let me give you the good news first after giving the bad news. I'll read you the email from Dr. Radke. We just finished Teddy's ultrasound. The good news is that his abdomen looks clear. No evidence of any metastasis. The radiologist also looked at his heart. Teddy has moderate mitral valve disease, that I know. This is the cause of his murmur, but he did not see anything that would be concerning for anesthesia. Now, that's the good news. So she says, it looks like his tumor is confined to the testicle at this point. I recommend that we do surgery to remove it and also neuter him. I think it is causing him discomfort. I'm going to give him a little break, then take some chest x-rays. These are important prior to anesthesia. The radio. Look, I know many of you who don't have animals think this is absurd in a world full of human suffering. But it's not absurd to those of us who love our pets and those of us who have compassion for innocent creatures, uh, big and small, whether they be humans or other animals or even a tree in the woods. If you want to call me a sentimental lush, you can go and do it. If you want to call me a tree-hugging animal lover, you can do it. It doesn't matter to me what you call me. All I know is I've had the toughest weekend of my life. I haven't slept for three days, but I did get good news, and that's great. Because if I had gotten the opposite, which is that he had a metastasis, I would have been facing termination of this dog's life, which many of you listening to this show have done with your pets and or with your family members. Is there anyone listening to this show, and don't call me on it, who has not had a relative die on them or a pet die on them? I doubt it. It's the way of all flesh. It's what we all know is part of the bargain. It's part of the bargain when we come on back down here is the deal is we get a chance uh, up there in the other sphere. I had a little crazy image of this the other day, which is that when we go over to the other side and we have a choice whether to come back, we are given a little deal. The deal is now before you sign on to going back down there, you know what you're going to have down there, don't you? You're going to have joy, you're going to have suffering, you're going to have pleasure, you're going to have pain. You're going to watch loved ones die, you're going to die. You sure you want to go back? And yet everyone listening to this show has signed that deal. We all said yes, we will take the pain for the other side of the coin, which is the pleasure or the joy of living, I suppose. But look at what human beings do on this planet knowing that they're not immortal. Think about it. Look around you one day in the middle of your hatred, in the middle of your political hatred, in the middle of your fanatical hatred, uh, either way, and took a, take a look at the civilization around you. Where did this come from? It came from mortal creatures just like yourself who instead of hating, created. Instead of destroying, created. Instead of destroying, they built up. Instead of bombing people in a mosque, even their co-religionists, they built a mosque. Instead of hating, they loved. Instead of dying, they lived. And that should be an inspiration to all of us. So let me read from Teddy and me. I've linked it on michaelsavage.com. I'm going to make some kind of creation in the next few months 
for animals. I don't know what I've been trying to do it all my life. We've given money to gorilla funds, elephant funds, to I don't know, maybe to no avail. I don't know that it's helping with the psychotic Chinese government should stop the importation of ivory and arrest anyone who is found with it as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, the Chinese government is as corrupt as any on the planet. But nevertheless, today is a good day in many ways because I will have this little guy with me another couple of years after the surgery. And, you know, they're, um, they're just 